fans, do you want to win your share of $100,000? Simply enter the houseofboxing.com fight night prediction challenge. Compete with boxing fans around the world. Simply head over to houseofboxing.com and sign up now. This is Lewis Art for Boxing Social in association with Empire Fight Store and William Hill. Delighted, as always, to be joined by Mr. Michael Hennessy Jr. How's things, mate? How have we been keeping a, a busy week, I'm sure, and a hectic one, but we can't have it out far on Saturday night? Definitely, it's been a very hectic week, a lot of ups and downs. It, this whole process actually just building to fight night from when the, my f original fight was announced, but we're here now. Um, I don't think there'll be any more venue changes or whatever, so we're ready to go Saturday night. We'll get into all the, the, the Harley Ben stuff in a minute um, with everything that happened there, but we'll just take it back to, I mean, Tuesday this week. Um, the news came out that Joshua Barat, uh, Daniel Z's got injured. Um, where, what was your initial thoughts? And when did you first hear about it, when it, the fight not, might not be going ahead and you didn't really know what was going on with the card? I, I first heard about it Tuesday, and um, I walked into the gym and my coach Bad was telling me, and I was, I was a little bit in shock. I could see there was something off. So when I asked him and he said that, I was like, my heart dropped for a second. But immediately I was assured that it looked like the undercard was still going to go ahead and to um, treat it as if I was fighting. So that's exactly what I did. Um, so um, I didn't I didn't have a soul or anything. I, I was ready. I was treating it as if I was fighting Saturday. And thankfully to Boxer and Sky Sports, they saved the day. Big up to them. So thank you very much. As I say, how much of a relief you think that I've never really seen it before that, you know, a card when, when the main event goes, there's such a big main event, the whole sort of venue change, everything like this. So it showed the effort they've gone to, to, you know, the care for the undercover because they easily could have gone, you know, they could easily could have just not, not bothered with it. Definitely. They could have easily done that. That would have been the easiest thing to do. But um, us as fighters on this card, we're very grateful because we've been sacrificing blood, sweat and tears for this moment for a long time. Not just in the build-up to this fight, for our whole lives. It's a massive platform, massive shows, Sky Sports. Um, we don't get paid if we don't fight either. So big up, big up Sky Sports and Boxer. And thank them so much for this amazing opportunity. Absolutely. Well, we'll get into one thing. You did say you're moving up from 154 to 165. Um, do you feel like much more fresher and beneficial than you're not sort of having to cut as much weight? Uh, definitely, I feel strong. You know what? Fight, this has been the most nicest fight week I've ever had. Like I've been in good spirits all week because I haven't been cutting weight. It's, it's been really nice. I'm going to be strong at the weight. Um, so yeah, I, I'm ready to go. Ultimately, look, my weight is 154. I, I was actually a fair bit under 165 when I got told it was 165. So it's been nice being able to eat what I want pretty much. And yeah, but I'll be, I am a 154 fighter. Absolutely, we'll get into it. Facing the Benwell bomber, Mr. Joe Laws, on Saturday night. A very fun, fiery press conference. There's a lot of respect between the two, but a lot of banter. Um, you've obviously got your history, you spar together. How excited are you now that you're at this challenge as opposed to, to Harley Ben? You know what, I'm extremely excited. Um, this, it, this is a much harder fight than Harvey, Harvey Ben because despite the, the relatively short notice, um, Joe brings the heat. Like I said at the press conference, I know he, I know he trains year round. He's a great fighter. Um, I've known him since the amateur days. He's going to be dangerous early on, and I'm going to have to really be switched on. So it does. It really excites me this fight, and um, it's one that I can get up for. You know, he's a character. He builds the fight well. It's got a big following, and like I said, he brings the heat. So it's going to be an exciting night and build up. You said that he's in the gym all round. Do you really buy the stuff that he's saying he was on cocktails and sunbeds there like about a couple of weeks before? I don't, I don't buy that because I know that him and that pudding, Ben, were trying to arrange a fight between each other. I knew they were trying to do that soon, so I knew he was in the gym ready. Um, yeah, listen, credit to him still. Look, he, he only knew about it for just, just under two weeks, so. but I, kn I knew he was going to be ready. And I'm ex like I said in the press conference, I'm expecting the best Joe Laws. You talk about motivation, and we've something we spoke about before. You know, when you come to fight a, a European, that's you know, say for example, coming to lose, the motivation must be bigger now for yourself, where you're fighting Joe Laws, where people could give him a chance at the fight. Maybe people might be backing against you, so that gives you much excitement that, that it's going to be. A, you know, you're in for a good fight. Definitely. Listen, like I said, it, it takes that danger to bring the best out of me. That is when I really switch on. Like I said in the press conference, I can't, I can't get up for them fights where I don't know who it is and whatever. Joe Laws is a great fighter, he's dangerous, um, he's, he, he, he's a character as well, so I, I'm really up for this fight and it's going to bring the best out of me. We'll go into is it. Is it a bit bittersweet for you that this isn't the original opponent? We knew the back and forth between yourself and Harley Ben um, and it's, it's not happening no more. Is it a bit bittersweet? It is very bittersweet. I'm, I'm thankful that Joe stepped in and, and it's still a great fight for myself because we needed something that fit the bill for a massive show like this. And I'm very grateful that we managed to get a fight like Joe Laws. 
but it, it is bitter because you know like I said I, I would really love to punch Harvey in the face you know so <laughs> I'd love to fight Harvey but um, like I said I, can't, I need to forget about him he's too busy breeding his puppies and I need to focus on Joe Laws because he's coming to try and take my head off well, bringing it back, you did say at the press conference, you did say he shit himself, but do you know the reason why he pulled out? Like, What was the whole reason behind it? Well, in his words, he had a bigger offer to fight Joe Laws. So, um, you know, needless to say, that's been proven to be a lie. And it doesn't take a genius to work out why he's actually pulled out. He, he's bit off more than he can chew. He's talked a lot of rubbish. He's got personal with myself, my family, my coach. And he showed his feathers. He bottled it. Simple as that. Does it feel a bit better that you're fighting Joe Laws? We know that was something that he did talk about and he said, as you mentioned there, about the opportunity of going elsewhere, but now you've got the fight. Does it feel a little bit sweeter? I always do that. <laughs> so, you know what? It is a nice little fuck you to um, Harvey, definitely. But um, I, so it's, it's a win-win because it's a great fight and a nice little fuck you. So. Do, you do you feel like that chapter's done with him now? We'll see. To be honest with you, I was, I was saying in a separate interview there, I, I won't believe that he will fight me until that first bell goes. Well, as just as we close this off, what happens on Saturday night against Joe Laws? I believe I win by TKO. Michael, always a pleasure to catch up with you, and I'm sure we'll be catching up after the fight. So, top man, mate, appreciate it.